Today I'm going to show you guys how I turned an ordinary jar into an ancient bottle of mummy dust. So I started by taking an old vitamin bottle and taking the cap off of it. Then I took some puffy paint and drew a round cornered square in the center of the bottle. It doesn't matter whether your bottle is glass or plastic because they'll all look the same once the paper mache is on. So once you have your puffy paint square drawn, just leave that to dry. And then I took a plastic skull ring, took the ring part off the back, put a little bit of glue on the skull, and glued that right above the square, and left that to dry. Then you want to take some tissue paper, put a little glue on the back side, and stick that to the jar, crinkling it up a lot, and then put glue all over the front of the tissue paper. And those are going to hold all the creases in place, and give it kind of that aged look. When you're done with one piece, just layer another piece right over the piece before it, making sure there's no open spaces on the jar. And the more crinkly you can get the pieces, the better, because that's what makes it look aged. When you get to the skull, just put a piece right over it and get it as tight to the skull as you can so the shape of the skull shows through, again covering all the tissue paper and glue. At the top of the bottle, you'll want to use a very thick piece of tissue paper so that it hides the threads where the top screwed on. So cover the entire thing in tissue paper and leave that to dry. And then once it's dry, you want to cover the entire thing in a coat of white paint. I used kind of an off-white here, it was called vintage white, which gives it kind of an older look right from the start. And then I took a piece of brown packing paper and I rounded the corners and measured how wide it was with that puffy paint square and then cut the other side, put a little bit of glue on the back and that should fit right in between the puffy paint square. So then I put a little bit of brown paint on the corner of a sponge and I dabbed that all over the entire bottle including over the paper. The only thing I left white was the skull just to make it stick out a little more. If you get any places where the brown is too brown just put some water on the edge of a sponge, a clean sponge, and just go right over the paint and that'll soften it so it doesn't look quite so brown and it'll make it look more dusty and ancient. And so then I just took a marker and wrote mummy dust on that label on the jar. Probably would have been easier if I'd done it before I glued it on the jar, but I just ended up doing it this way. Then I just put a large cork in it. And so then here is the finished mummy dust jar looking nice and ancient. And then it just goes back on the shelf with all my other little potion bottles for Halloween.